Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the Nook HD on Android 7. The Nook originally launches with a version of Android 4.4 that is modified by Nook. Nook is and has always been Amazon's, I guess, enemy or um, I forgot exactly what the word was. Anyway, moving on. This Nook is in fair condition, except it has crack on the screen for my dog. As you can see, right now it is not responding to any of the touches unless if I double tap it, which is supposed to open up the camera. Uh, from there forward, we have a couple of glitches. For an example, its default orientation for the OS is actually upside down, not right side up. This can make it difficult when you are used to holding the Nook like this, the way it's supposed to be held. By default, the Nook uses a modified 30-pin charger. Granted, this, I, uh, this charger does fit inside of an iPod. It does not charge an iPod, and nor will it work the other way around. An iPod charger cannot charge this Nook. I had to order this one on eBay. This Nook has a dual core 32-bit, I believe, processor. Although, I think I managed to install it. 64-bit apps, which makes me think it's 64-bit. I honestly am not sure. I have to do more research on that. This Nook has a beautiful looking screen, as you can see. One of the best screens I've ever seen on a tablet for having less than a gigabyte of RAM. And uh, um, running Android 7, it runs it pretty well. This is an unofficial version of Cyanogen Mod. This was dated, I think, about five years ago when they made this version. It works pretty well but it has its flaws. For an example, you cannot turn off this Nook. If I try to turn it off and wait, it will just turn itself back on every single time. The only way to actually completely turn it off is to wait until the battery dies. I did not install G apps on this because I did not feel like having Google services on this. It already runs slow as it is. As far as games go, it does not allow me to play games. Entering games such as Jetpack Joyride, waiting a couple seconds, it will eventually crash and just go straight back to the home screen. As you can see, it happened right here. This Nook has eight gigabytes of memory uh, available. And honestly, the Android system takes it pretty well. It comes with a shitty browser, but I installed Brave Browser on here and that seems to work pretty well. To replace the App Store, I installed Happy Mod. Happy Mod appears to do exactly its job and run as I need it to. However, I have ran into glitches where it either doesn't have storage access when it should, or doesn't connect to the internet properly, or doesn't download things. I've had these exact same issues with other apps that I have installed, such as Brave Browser, Happy Mod, and a root checker. The root function does not work on this, even though it is enabled through developer options. It will not bring up the dialog to allow access. So, as far as that goes, it just doesn't work. But for someone who doesn't want to have root or doesn't really care, this can be a great option. It manages his battery life pretty well. It has an amazing sounding speaker. I cannot show that because I only have copy protected music. In other words, uh, Breaking Benjamin's album Dear Agony on here. But that is just something to know that it does have amazing sounding speakers. It also has an impressively bright display. Using Cyanogen Mod on this, I gotta say it is a lot better than using the stock OS on it. Because the stock OS cannot be set up unless if you enter test mode and set it up from there. Which seems pretty shitty in my opinion. Otherwise, using this uh, isn't the worst but it isn't the best. And I definitely wouldn't recommend buying a nook tablet for this unless if you are a tech geek like me and in my case i found this on marketplace and i bought it for literally five bucks and i thought you know what i had to give it a shot after giving it some time and running through it i managed to get some places and this is where i eventually got to otherwise if you guys have any questions or if you guys want to know how i installed android 7 on this please let me know in the comments and I will make a video on that. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next one.